Hi everyone, I'm Nikki from the design team and today we have a new release. So I am going to show you the new paper pad that Cat Scrappiness has done and go through all the different patterns. It's a six by eight paper pad and I want to make sure if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button for this channel so you get all the new release info. With this pad, we have 18 designs and two pieces of each of those designs. What I really love about this besides all the amazing papers is that it's six by eight. So that size paper is very nice for pretty much any, side car, any size card that I normally make. Um, you could do a five by seven, you could do a slim line with this, and you can do your regular A2, which is nice. So let me get into these patterns. The front page here does show you what's in the pack, but it doesn't show you the designs to scale. So we'll start with our polka dots. I love polka dots and this color um, combo is just so fun. It's a great color combo to make some cards with for the spring. Um, the polka dots are a reasonable size and then on the back of the polka dots is this beautiful teal color. So we've got a couple of um, great solids in this pack which I love having because it lets you make some more card designs and not have to get into your stash and try to match things. These bicycles have some flowers on them. I'm going to show you in a minute a stamp set that really coordinates with these flowers too. But right now, think about all the things you could do with this. If you have a brother scanning cut or you just want a fussy cut, you could cut these bicycles out. And I'm sure some of my great um, teammates on the design team have done some fun things with that. The yellow is really pretty. We've got several different papers with bicycles on them. And who doesn't love a pink bicycle? These would be another one that would be great for your brother scanning cut to cut out or the fussy cut and add on to your projects. I just think they're the cutest little bicycles and who doesn't love some balloons? So you've got this. Now I'm gonna show you the back of this page which is another green. Um, it's really nice. There's a darker tealish color and there's a lighter one in this group. This is a smaller pattern of those flowers I was talking about. And like I said, there is a stamp set that goes with these. So they've got stripes on the back, but this stamp set, I wanna show it to you. It's called Friendship Greetings and this is already in the store. And these flowers are modeled after the flowers in this stamp set. So it would be a great item if you want this paper pad and you're trying to decide what you wanna do. You could do some of these flowers with some of the flowery paper. It would look beautiful. I'll make sure to link that stamp set in the description with this paper pad. This is my favorite. I don't know why, but I just really love this black background. So I ended up making a card with this one. I will show you. Um, I think it's just because I don't have many papers that have black backgrounds and it looks so nice with these colors. The coral color is great. And then this is a larger version of that floral print. So this floral print has a little bit more color in it and it definitely, like I said, matches these flowers really well so you could make some really cool projects with that. The back of this paper is a star pattern which looks really fun to me too. I think that would coordinate really well with everything. The This paper has the most I guess different options that you could cut out to make your own ephemera. So I love these little um, banners. I mean you could stamp a word on that. Of course, it's still got the pink bicycles. You've got some little flowers. It would be a great one to do some fussy cutting on and use this as your ephemera. You can make some quick and easy cards and it's got that beautiful light pink. I am also a huge fan of this one. So I don't know what it is with me in black and white, but I really like having black and white options. Of course, the color in there is great too, but I think it just looks so good. You could even just cut a little piece of this off and coordinate it so well with so many other cards and other card packs. It also does come with some glossy black, which is nice for mounting some of your papers um, or just using to cut out extra things. And then this funky arrow, I guess you would say, pattern. And it's got some fun yellow. The back is a beautiful like paint splatter of the coral color. So I think we've got lots of great options with this paper pad. I'm going to fan through the backs since I went through those a little quicker just so you can see what the back side of every page is. Is. So let me show you um, all of these and then I'm going to fan through the front real quick too just so you can get a quick glimpse of everything that was in there in case you forgot and 
um, see the patterns. So I love all these solids. I love having solids with my paper pack. That just really helps me coordinate and make lots of things. And then all these fun patterns. You need to drop in the comments and tell me what is your favorite paper from this pack. I, like I said, am in love with these black backgrounds. I think that looks so cool with these bright spring colors. Let me show you what I did. I made a card with the black background and see what you think. Okay, so here I added this piece of ribbon to the bottom, which I thought coordinated so well. I backed my A2 with another black piece of cardstock just to make it stand out. And then I used these fancy scalloped hearts and cut a piece of vellum. I love how vellum looks over a really dark background. It just kind of softens it. And I thought I'd put on there sending my love and added a couple of little enamel dots Cat has some coral enamel dots that look really great. So I hope you enjoyed this project and make sure you check out this paper pack. It's definitely got some different things in it, um, some fun bright spring colors. And if you're going to go shopping today, make sure you click through the link in the description. That does help give me a small commission at no cost to you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.